thank you for your love and for your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for loving us so much that instead of leaving a great divide between us and you, you made a way that we could come home. And it has nothing to do with us being good enough, smart enough, strong. It has everything to do with your love being enough. That Jesus did die. He rose from the dead. And he wants to bring us home. Today, Sierra accepts Jesus as her Lord and Savior. Seeking to live the life you created to live, to be a woman of God, filled with your spirit, growing to know you more. God, where she lives well, bless her. Where she falls short, where she sins, may she understand that grace forgives her and restores her, and she's still a beloved child of you. God, we love that we get to be part of these lives together, and so thank you that we don't stand alone. And may we encourage Sierra down this road she's on. It's in your son's name that we pray. Amen. All right, Sierra. I'm not going to drown. Sierra, you said you believe in Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And that you want to take on his name, Christian, and be a follower of him. That you're going to change your life to become the woman God wants you to be. And you're willing to submit yourself to baptism to allow yourself with Christ in his death, burial, and resurrection. So because of all those things, I'm going to baptize you. All right? Put your hands together to me. Sierra, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, dying to your old way of life, and rising to a new life with him. Welcome home, Sierra.